What's up, Paul here from Guitar World, and today we're gonna to be checking out the latest and most powerful addition to Eventide's growing roster of harmonizers and pedal effects. This one, undoubtedly, is the apex of engineering and sound fidelity in a singular multi-effect stomp box, the Eventide H90. Let's check it out. Eventide's H9 pedal is a game changer harmonizer and multi-effect pedal, but for some, it did have its limitations and to a small degree frustrations. For example, you could only use one of its algorithms at a time. And for that reason, you'd see some professional musicians usually had two or more H9s on their pedal boards. Now, the formidable H90 with the ability to run two algorithms all at once and so much more is the next level up from the popular H9. As an Eventide product, I'm absolutely blown away by the H90's high-res OLED display and intuitive interface, where you don't need a companion app to change parameters or edit presets. Everything can be done on the face of the pedal rather easily, making this stomp box one of the best harmonizing and multi-effects units available. I won't spend too much time going over what's baked in here because there is plenty of info online and videos for that, but in a nutshell, here it is. The H90 Harmonizer features modern ARM-based architecture derived from Eventide's flagship H9000 Harmonizer. The H90 features a flexible I.O., intuitive display, 10 new algorithms, and the ability to run two algorithms all at once. The H90 comes preloaded with 62 effect algorithms with 10 brand new effect algorithms that are called Polyphony, Prism Shift, Bouquet Delay, Headspace, Weed Whacker, Even Vibe, Wormhole, Instant Flanger, Instant Phaser, and SP2016 Reverb. The included 52 effect algorithms are from the H9 Max Harmonizer with enhanced features and improvements. Other key features are the new low latency polyphonic pitch shifting with SIFT, Spectral Instantaneous Frequency Tracking Technology. As a live performance pedal, the H90 Harmonizer is a breeze to navigate. The front panel features five push knobs, seven LED buttons, and a high-res OLED display for total hands-on control and parameter tweaking. You can access the hundreds of factory programs by using either select or bank mode. There's a bit of wordplay in how Eventide designates presets, programs, and playlists. In select mode, you can navigate your playlist sequentially, but in bank mode, you can quickly load from a bank of three programs that is handily accessed through the foot switches, which is perfect for organizing and setting up a bunch of affected sounds for a song. In perform mode, you get six programmable foot switches and by simply depressing perform, you can map functions like tap tempo, preset and insert bypass with momentary states and innovative performance functions like reverb freeze, pitch flex, self oscillation, boil, delay repeat and many others. You can also make multiple instantaneous parameter changes with the three hot switches. Honestly, I've barely scratched the surface of the capabilities, versatility, and sounds of this revolutionary H90, but it's more important that I show you just how easy it is to get into the heart and soul of the H90 and remove any intimidation you may have using a pedal with this much processing power and flexibility. I can scroll through programs just going like this, going back and forth through the select knob, and then depressing select to select the programs. If I don't do that, if I just need using my foot, I can just go up and down the programs using that, just using the foot switches and then turning them on and off. But another way of using the Eventide H90 is I can use it in bank mode. So simply holding select puts me in bank mode. And now the foot switches become three different playlists. So for example, I just click on this, brings me to fading fields, brings me to pensive fifths, and then epic steel. And if I need to go up and down now, press hold, brings me up to the next bank, and then you can turn it on and off. Same idea over here, press hold, brings me down to the lower bank. And then another just great feature of organizing your presets and playlists. Here's one of my favorite presets or programs. 
This one's called 80s Villain. It's very cinematic sounding. It combines two sounds, the hot saw sound and the harmodulator, two effects here, and I'll let you hear them individually as well. Take a listen. <laughs> This is Weed Whacker. Here's another one of my favorites. It's called Whip Around. It sounds like you're beginning a song in reverse. Okay, so this one features the SP2016 reverb. Okay, so here is Instant Phaser and Instant Flanger together, and then I'll do them individually when I hit the perform switch. So let's quickly get into how I can easily tweak on the face of the pedal. I'm going to use this one, Pensive Fifths, and right now I have an active harmodulator and a band delay. If I want to get into the two active effects, which is the harmodulator and the band delay, right over here, the three knobs over here, allow me to get an A, of course, is harmodulator, B is band delay. Simply pushing in, I get to quickly, quickly access the controls for each one. And you can see the page from up here. I can go right to the second page. Those are the ones that I can easily tweak on the fly. Now, if I wanted to get deeper into, say, each effect, simply get into, hit preset, and then I can get into either effect. So right now I'm on band delay. But let's go back over here to Harmodulator and simply hitting Parameters. Now I can work the parameters. So you can see I get all the values here and if I need to change anything, use the knobs here like that. And now I click Parameter again. Now I'm in Band Delay on B. See all the values over there for Band Delay and then click parameter again. This is the whole program. And there are the values there I can change as well. Simple as that. Now, if I want to change the band delay to something else, right now it's in guitars and space, I can search. So if I want, here I'm looking for something. I want to do pitch, and then I'll find the algorithm and I'll add polyphony to it. 
So there. So these are all now the different things I can use in polyphony. I selected that. So now in my playlist here, I have the harmodulator and the polyphony now. Now what's great is I can go to the perform section and that offers me options on the three switches. So now you can see if I want to tap tempo, I have it over here. And then these two of this playlist are active. I can change the function of the foot switch. So you can see right now I can have it active manually. Hot flex, there's a flex re-trigger. Or I can change this. Gives me the different values, freeze, manual freeze, because you get that latch function. This is this is the second page of that. Same deal with sign a hot switch, and I have this active right now. So you can see all the different things I can change on it, flex, retrigger, all that. So right now I'll go back to this being active. And right now, so now I'm in pensive fifths. That's the perform mode. So you can hear both the harmodulator and then the polyphony on this side. That's just the harmodulator. This is the polyphony. Together. See, and I'm using the foot switch, I can show you what flex does, changes the pitch. Those you can see are some quick edits for this one. But now, say I just want to change on the harmodulator very quickly. Click that there. I'm going to hit parameters. I want to get rid of the delay. So now, if I scroll through the delays and I want to get rid of it, values, just keep changing the value until I get to no delay and delay B to no delay. All right. Now we're back to this. Now listen. Here's a cool quick tip. You'll notice that here, there's an asterisk next to this playlist, which means that I've made changes to it. Right now that lets me know that this is not the saved program. So in order for me to remove that, I need to save that and then it becomes part of the program. But right now, as you see, I took away the delay and added polyphony in that. And now if I want to save it, I either hold preset or hold programs. And don't get me wrong, there is the H90 computer software for those who wish to approach the H90 in that fashion. And here, that avenue allows for easy management of all what I've mentioned before, as well as being able to organize your programs and presets and so much more. You can route effects in series or parallel. There's instrument or line level operation. Two mono inserts or one stereo insert can be positioned anywhere in the signal chain. There's dual mode for processing two independent stereo signals at once. Two expression inputs for pedals, up to three button auxiliary switches and CV signals. The great thing is you can see up here, the icons are the effects. So you can see this icon's delay, this is more of like a, I guess, a wave tremolo form that tells you what effects in play. And if you look carefully, you can also see whether this playlist is either series or in parallel. So the great thing is if the routing switch over here, you can see right now the routing is series, right? And if I want to change it to something different, simply you can see now I've got this running in parallel. You can see both the effects, both the algorithms are running in parallel. And then also what's great, there's insert knobs here as well. So if you want to put an external effect in the chain, you can, and just add that in. And then, because I have it in parallel, I'll get out of it. So I can go back to the program. 
now you can see, going back to that, I'm in parallel with this effect. So that's, that's another cool thing about that. There's also a true spillover between programs, so you don't get the effect cut off. So here's a great example of spillover from one effect. And if that's not enough, there's a built-in tuner. The Eventide H90 is a sonic masterpiece in a pedal, and quite frankly, a crowning achievement for Eventide. Frankly, there's nothing quite like it to create unique soundscapes with its novel three-dimensional sounds, live performance capabilities, variety of effect algorithms and processing power, all in a programmable stomp box with an intuitive user interface that you barely need the manual for. For many who already own the H9 or more than one, it's very likely this new H90 will replace it, and it may very well be the new standard in compact multi-effect pedals. It is simply the best Eventide has to offer. Definitely check it out.